We are here at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre at the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame Induction Awards in celebration of some of Ontario's marquee athletes. Adam, congratulations on your induction into the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame. There is no doubt you deserve it. What does this recognition mean to you personally, as an athlete, and as an Ontarian? Well, tonight's just really special to have so many people back together because obviously it's been a few years since I've had like my coach, some teammates, my parents, my brother, my girlfriend, Emily, all in the same place together. So honestly, it's just a nice reunion. Um, this isn't the kind of thing that you ever like put in your you know, goals book. Uh, being inducted to a Sports Hall of Fame is a huge honor and a real privilege and something that I don't take lightly. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's kind of surprising, you know, when you look at the other names on the list, it's always like, wow, we're going to enter the same hall as these like really distinguished, amazing athletes. Um, but it's just a sincere honor. And uh, it's a good opportunity for me, my current role as a politician, to really reflect on um, what social services are available to kids and which ones aren't. And, you know, sport is a privilege, unfortunately, in Canada, and I think it should be a right. I think it is a right. And I think all the educational opportunities that sport and physical activity offer kids are essential. So we need to make sure that, particularly in the post-pandemic uh, era, that, uh, that we're making sure that kids have access to every single opportunity out there. I could not agree with you more. I mean, I remember where I was in 2004. Uh, when you won your gold medal in Athens, and I'm sure many Ontarians and Canadians do as well, and that might have been a long time ago, but since then, how do you feel that your success has helped your sport grow in Ontario and throughout Canada? Well, canoe kayak is a sport with a long history uh, on these lands, and it's not lost on me that, that the kayak and the canoe are both Indigenous inventions. So it's offered me an opportunity to reflect a little bit on, on who I am, where I came from, and the, the opportunity that I had in the kayak. Um, actually, since retiring from the sport, I've had an opportunity to go up north to northern Labrador as well as to Nunavut and try like traditional seal skin kayaks and to try to connect a little bit more with the heritage of the sport and to more fully understand uh, why the boat was invented, like probably 4,000 years ago. It's kind of actually crazy to think that they're around the same era as pyramids, like the pyramids in Egypt. Yeah. It's, uh, they're an ancient thing um, that is, they've been around um, our civilizations for a long time. So very grateful for the opportunity to paddle. Our sport is growing and uh, the, the season is, is starting now. I got out, out on the water for the first time uh, over this weekend, a little bit later than I used to. I used to break the ice with my boat and now it's a, <laughs> I'm kind of a fair weather kayaker. Um, but I just want to say thanks to the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame for this honor because it's, it's a real sincere privilege to, to be inducted tonight. And it's so nice to see so many friends after a long time.